Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to reset your car's computer and check engine light. There are times when your car act weird and charge warning light comes on for no apparent reason. What will you do if you are in such a situation? The best option is to reset your car. This is just like what you do when your computer acts weird or when your smartphone starts acting weird. You will reset it. When there is some misinformation on the electronic control unit, the ECU will start acting weird sometimes. So, resetting will fix this kind of problem. For example, if there is something weird on your smartphone, you reboot it. Rebooting might fix the problem. Similarly, if the ECU of your car starts acting weird, resetting will fix some of the issues. In this video, we will have a look at how that resetting can be done. Misinformed ECU will lead to rough running and check engine light illumination. In order to reset the ECU, we will disconnect power supply. We will disconnect any power supply to all the computers inside the vehicle and also discharge any power stored in capacitors. But before you do so, make sure that your vehicle is capable of allowing this kind of task. Make sure that you have a password to anti-theft radio and other code protected functions. Please also remember that this type of resetting is not recommended on vehicles that have lots and lots of computers. So, if you decide to reset and if it is possible to reset the car computer on your vehicle, proceed as follows. Disconnect the battery negative cable from the battery. Keep it aside. Next, disconnect the battery positive terminal and put it aside. Then pull out a piece of wire and then connect the battery positive wire terminal that you have disconnected from the battery post and connect it to, to the negative battery terminal that you have previously disconnected from the battery. This will discharge any remaining electricity stored somewhere it could be stored in capacitors or stored somewhere it will discharge and it will make sure that all the electricity in the system is drained out keep the wire connected for a little longer there are some vehicles that recommend resetting issue by simply disconnecting the battery positive and the battery negative terminals and waiting for 10-15 minutes but short circuiting like that we are showing right here on this video will make sure that electric stored somewhere else in the system will be drained quickly. So hold the wire for a little longer. Now there is additional thing that you can do to make sure that everything is discharged. To make sure that no electricity remains within the system, you can turn on the headlight for a little while. Even though the headlight will not be illuminated because the battery is disconnected, but this action will drain any electric stored somewhere else in the car's electrical system. Once this function is done, now you can reconnect all the battery cables. When reconnecting the battery, start by connecting the battery positive terminal first and then proceed to connecting the battery negative. Then proceed to start your vehicle and let it run for some time. On the initial start, the car might run a little rough and this is normal, but this will go away once the ECU learns all the basics that are required for smooth running from the data that it gathers from the engine sensors and components. Then you can proceed to turning the AC on and run your vehicle with fast idle for about five minutes or so. Then proceed to turn the AC off and run it for five minutes roughly with fast idle again. This will allow the ECU to figure out the idle speed. The correct idle speed will be registered by the ECU and it will let it run smoothly again. Then go out and take it for a spin. Now the engine will start running smooth. Your vehicle has been reset. And like we said earlier, always remember there are times when you can simply disconnect the battery and keep it aside for a little while and then reconnect. That might fix your problem. But this is a detailed resetting procedure that can be done on electronic vehicles if the ECU starts acting weird or if the 
check engine light start is coming on for no apparent reason this is a method to go about it in order to reset the ECU. Well, there we are. That is all we have for you in this presentation regarding how to reset your ECU and check engine light. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.